Do you ever feel like something is off about your relationship? Does it seem like they're trying to take advantage of you while looking well-meaning or wise? Manipulators are naturals at getting you to question your own sanity or perception of reality. And depending on who it is, it can be tough to spot, especially if the aggressor is among your close friends and family. So to help you be more aware of these behaviors, here are seven common phrases manipulators use to trick their victims. Number one, I'm the one who should be mad at you. You ever get mad at someone only for them to make you feel guilty and embarrassed about yourself instead? To any outburst from your end, they may retort with, oh, so you're mad? Even if I'm mistakenly accused by you? You do know you're the one who's hurting me, right? This is a common manipulation tactic where they try to rewrite the narrative and get you to empathize with them, even when they're the ones at fault. They're denying the hurt feelings you have for them to get their own way. For empaths and timid people, this manipulative performance can sadly be quite effective. Number two, I seriously don't wanna argue. When a manipulator says, I seriously don't wanna argue, it usually just means that they want you to stop attacking them to keep their reign of dominance intact. They wanna cut off any healthy and honest communication lines to keep you from stepping out of the line in the dynamic that works so well for them. What makes matters worse is when you use the same phrase, they throw in their excuses saying it's not their fault and that you're the one being delusional to keep them in power. Their attempts to avoid any and all arguments may be their way to self-enrich themselves and to keep you at bay. A healthy person would at least try to lend an opening ear. So it's a good idea to be aware of the difference. Number three, stop exaggerating everything. Do you know someone who constantly tries to downplay a situation? It can feel exhausting when you're upset at a manipulative person since they're often too prideful to empathize, understand, and work with you to help solve the problem. Instead, they may use underhanded techniques to dismantle your argument. Stop exaggerating everything is one of the phrases they may say as an attempt to diffuse situations, control the narrative, and keep you from lashing out at them, even if it's clearly warranted. In cases like this, recognizing their patterns is always the first step to rising above them. If it persists, then it's always best to look after yourself, no matter what the cost, even if that means removing yourself from the situation entirely. Number four, they're crazy. Listen to me. Imagine you've reached out to your friend to talk about your relationship problems, and they tell you that your partner is actually very manipulative. When you bring this up to your partner, instead of keeping an open mind, they may defend themselves by putting down the other person. They may say that your friends are the ones who are crazy and that they are the only person who is right and who you should listen to. The worst part is that some manipulators can be charismatic enough to convince you. This can be severe enough to the point that they force you to stick with them at all times, which can isolate you from the people who might go against them. Number five, look, you clearly don't understand. Have they tried undermining your arguments? Manipulators are great at confusing people and making them hesitant. Sometimes they might even act like a brick wall so there's no room to communicate at all. No matter how you feel emotionally or how much you try to argue, they may never make any sort of attempt to empathize or understand you. In this way, they evade any form of accountability. Number six, no, no, you're being delusional. Have they ever said that you're being delusional or crazy? Manipulators like to shift the blame away from them and paint you in a bad light. They're not in the relationship for a healthy two-way dynamic. They're in it so they can make themselves feel better at your expense. Suffice to say, it's not healthy. Manipulators love it when you're nice and kind to them, but they're ready to discard all of that in case it's not needed anymore. It's a good idea to ask for insight from other people or professionals about the situation or set clear boundaries from here on out. And number seven, now why would I do that? You know I love you. Manipulators know how to skirt around romance and get you to fall for their good side. They may show their vulnerability during first impressions, but reveal their darker side once they've caught your attention. The most frightening part for empaths and people who fall victim to manipulators is that it's so hard to turn off the switch and remove the manipulator from their lives forever. After all, the experiences, the good times, the I love yous can all seem incredibly real, but manipulators know this too and may use it to manipulate you further. If they really cared and loved you, they wouldn't constantly dismiss your feelings but have an honest conversation about them with you. Instead, they're normalizing inaction, mind games, and dismissive emotional patterns, which is not something a healthy person would resort to. 
So has anyone ever used these phrases against you? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and see you in our next video.